let's take a look at factorials. They tell us to evaluate 3 factorial. Okay, this exclamation point is the math symbol that means factorial. So instead of 3 exclamation point, you would read that as 3 factorial. The definition of a factorial is the product of an integer and all the integers below it. So what that means is you take the number that you're finding the factorial of, in this case 3, and you multiply it by integers smaller until you get down to 1. Remember your integers are whole numbers. So I'm going to start with 3, since I had 3 factorial. The next smallest integer would be 2, and the next smallest integer would be 1. And we stop once we get down to 1. So this would be 3 times 2 times 1. And then we multiply it out. 3 times 2 is 6, times 1 is still 6. One factorial. Okay, well remember we said you multiply it by all the integers smaller until you get down to 1. But here, as soon as I write the 1, I'm already down to 1. So 1 factorial is the same as just 1. 4 factorial. Okay, well I'm going to multiply it by my integers that are smaller until I get down to 1. So starting with my 4, I would say 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then multiply it out. 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24, times 1 is still 24. Four factorial. Okay, well we saw this one a moment ago, but it would be like this, four times three times two times one, and then we multiply. Four times three is 12, times two is 24, times one is still 24. Three factorial. Okay, remember that would be three times two times one, because we're multiplying it by smaller integers until we get down to one. Well, 3 times 2 is 6, times 1 is 6. 1 factorial, well, if we go to write it out, we only have the 1, so 1 factorial is just 1. 4 factorial, okay, well, remember that that would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And we already saw this, 4 times 3 was 12, times 2 is 24, times 1 is still 24. And 1 factorial is just 1. Okay, 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. Well, 3 times 2 is 6, times 1 again is still 6. 2 factorial. Okay, well 2 factorial would be 2 times 1. Well 2 times 1 is just 2. 4 factorial. Okay, we've seen this one. That would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times 3 is 12. Times 2 is 24. Times 1 is 24. 10 factorial. Okay, so we're going to start at 10, and we're going to multiply that by smaller integers all the way down to 1. So this would be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So you can see that this is going to give us a pretty big number. Okay, so let's take our calculator and multiply that out. 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And you can see that this is giving me a big answer when we multiply all of that together, 3,628,800. Seven factorial. 
Okay, well this would be seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. Okay, and then we multiply it out. Seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. And that gives us 5,040.